I bet by no means you did not miss it in the intro, but I see another riderless car as a member of the Ghost Riders in this one. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, day 15, and the Ghost Riders are back again. First time it was a blue pipe frame, I'll never forget it, 18.7663, the record, I've said it a million times. Now we have a red pipe frame with no rider. Alongside that we got Zeke with Yoshi and Amok, Eight. We got Striker with Koopa and a Sneaker, and Jonathan with Donkey Kong in a pipe frame. A brighter colored one to match probably the bananas he so uh, often enjoys. And, uh, well, this riderless pipe frame doesn't look so good right now, though I will say, I remember the last time we saw the blue riderless pipe frame, the first race looked pretty bad, and then he just out of nowhere put up records we couldn't imagine. Yoshi in the Mach 8, running forward over a few lengths, here comes the Koopa, but he starts to spin, goes for an accidental roadblock, spins out, terrible through the turn, Yoshi in the Mach 8 stops right before the finish, and loses out, and a sub-20 does cross just in time. That was a that was a sub 20. Look at this. He was still in the 18s. He would have popped the cross at about 197, but the sneaker, well no, sorry, the Mach 8 himself spun out and then the sneaker almost grabbed that back. Pipe frame starts with only one point. Zeke. And I don't think he won his first time through, so uh He's definitely excited to see the Mach 8 start out strong, especially if he hadn't made those mistakes. We'll see how he runs out this time. Take a look at that pipe frame. I think it's harder to prepare a pipe frame without a rider for racing, so maybe some lubrication or some axle straightening could be involved in this pipe frame's less than desirable performance in this one. Without a rider, you have less control, less weight, less everything, and you need the perfect setting for things to work out well. Looks like Zeke has that perfect setting though with Yoshi manning that Mach 8. Things are looking fast and smooth for this car. He breaks into this back section. Ooh, starts to bounce around a little bit, maintains the speed, goes outside on the hairpin, back inside, down to the finish he goes. No zigging and zagging too much, and he'll go 19.8 even on that. Sneaker comes across again, not bad. Pipe frame goes up a place, and Donkey Kong slots next to him for one. I will tell you, I would not sleep on the sneaker. Let's look at that time he puts up there. I'd say 20, ah, I think more 21 actually. But I, I think he's racing fast. So the sneaker could be a threat if he moves on as well. Normally you do not see sneakers, um, no matter who's manning them, do very well. But this one is, well, he's, he's coming out pretty strong. Maybe the Koopa Troopa has that kind of secret ability in this model. Pipe frame dropping back early on. Donkey Kong trying to shove his way in there, but easily overtaken into the second straight. We got the Mach 8 on the near side stretching out that early lead into the third straight. Looks like he's going to run away once again. Man, the speed there is incredible. The camera almost can't catch up. And through that uh, second to last turn before the wide track, and the Mach 8's by himself here. Inside line, loses some speed. You can see wheels leaving the ground right there. How does he bump into the transition? Oh, spins and loses it all. Control speed's gone. He'll barely make a way around the turn, knocked forward by the pipe frame, who's back in the game, but loses because he couldn't go away. Sneaker. And this riderless pipe frame might have to just let it be and cheer for his counterpart in blue. One, two, three. So pattern would suggest the Ghost Riders might come out with a five here, but would that be enough? I mean, we have a points of six for the Ghost Rider, and even our second place over here of Striker, well, he actually has eight, so a five would put the Ghost Rider in at least a tiebreaker position. Zeke's got it, though, with three fives, working on a partial sweep here for sure. Let's see if he can manage it. Ghost Rider has to work his way back up in front of the sneaker if he's going to take it, even a five, but he's right now in the back of the pack. I don't think it's going to happen right here. The Mach 8 is looking slow right now. Another outside line, and the sneaker might start to take over. They're neck and neck here, and the sneaker burns in front by a length and transitions badly. They're both turned around. Here comes the pipe frame, who's also backwards. Can he wiggle around to the outside? They're all in a single file, and the sneaker gets across while the Ghost Rider drops back. Sneaker ends the partial sweep, shows that he's in the game for it. Sub, not sub 21.
But with all that turning and twisting in the back section, you might wonder if a sub 20 is possible for the sneaker. We'll table that until the finals. Take the next four, Peach Racing. Well, as you might expect, Peach in the sports coupe. Ray, dry bones in the circuit special, who I'm a big fan of. Well, hopefully he'll come out fast here in the later heats. We have Peach in a Mach 8 because of Taylor P. Thank you to him for submitting. And uh, I don't know why I thank them for submitting. It was kind of random. Um, and Bowser Jr. there in the circuit special. We got Peach, Mach 8, starting to twist there as we head towards the turn. Ooh, middle of the turn. Starts to lose traction, but I think we'll start strong here with 20.4. Oh my god, the sports coupe might have gotten stirred there. Sometimes I reset my brain after the first one comes across and, and forget how close <laughs> these other races can get. That was very close right there. Sports Coupe almost destroyed Ray, but came up just a little short. Peach Racing, mm, the potential's there. Did I, what did I say for Bowser Jr.? That's, that's another circuit special, I believe, there for Bowser Jr. I forget what I actually forget what I said, but but either way, two circuit specials, a sports coupe, and a Mach 8 here. Two peaches, a dry bones, and a Bowser Jr. And the names are listed above correspond. Here we go. Mach 8 on the other side here. Oh, building that lead up to 5, 6, and even more. Camera trying to keep up around that turn. Ooh, lee, uh, wheels leave the ground as the Mach 8 steadies herself through that wide turn now. Oh, can't get around with a lot of speed. You see the loss of speed there. Just crawled around that turn. Bounces in here. Maintains control. Rounds that hairpin nice and high, but then comes inside on it. Skids for a second. Speed is low. Here comes the sport to the near side. Far side. And she can't find the gap. 22. What was the gap problem here? Oh, just a nick. A nick on the front wheel. I thought she had the gap on the far side, but I uh, the, the Mach 8 was not close enough to that near edge to allow room. And you saw it was just like the front nose tapped a little bit. It was really weird. Well, there you have it. Mach 8 running out once again, working on a partial sweep of two fives. Who else is in there? Looks like it's going to be Ray or Peach racing. Bowser Jr. is not handling this so uh, well so far. I think Peach here, if controlled, if straight, if capable, has a chance to go sub-20, but not as simply as our uh, friends from the first group. So we'll see how she takes to the track here. Running into the fat track section, spins, bumps again, loses control, full 360. Here comes the hairpin inside and crawling. Here comes the sports coupe on the far side. No blocks, nice by the Mach 8. Steals momentum, sports coupe can't find a gap again. Dry bones will cross. Sports coupe looking good here. Bowser Jr. again with a one. And Peach in the, uh, the Mach 8, almost a B dasher. I feel like we usually see that, that's why I was tempted to say it, but Peach in the Mach 8, I think is going to be a finals racer today. What do you think, guys? What do you think about all these racers? Who's going to win the finals? We only have one more day after this before the finals, and I, I'm telling you what, I am I am unsure. I mean, I know Victor Quiles is there twice. There's another team that's there twice. I remember noticing it last time and, and forgetting to point it out. Uh, the team from last week or the week before has two cars in the finals as well. So congratulations to both of them. Are they going to stand strong? Is it just going to be Ghost Rider with their blue pipe frame? Maybe even a car we haven't seen yet from day 16 or today's final. I mean, who's going to win? Start casting those votes. Start thinking about it. Start giving analyses in the comments, and I'll ruminate on them. Here we go. Peach in the Mach 8. Running into the wide track. Bounces a little bit. Not straight ever into that last section, but this was her best run so far. Running to the finish line, and maybe... Well, not a sub-20, but a sub-21. Sports Coupe's going to stay strong in advance as well. And Dry Bones will be knocked across, giving a Bowser Jr. a full... Uh, no, a partial, I guess, sweep of losses. <laughs> really maintain that fourth place position the best he could.
And advancing, partial sweep from Taylor P and Peach in the Mach 8. Finals, here we go. Heat one. We have a set of four out there. And I'd love to see Peach and Yoshi get to work here. Far side Mach 8 Peach, near side Yoshi Mach 8. Best two racers I think Speedwise has seen today. Zeke and Taylor Peach. Striker and Peach Racing still in there. If they can rise to the occasion, I think Striker has a chance there in the sneaker. It's got to be about the turns though. It's got to be that single lane racing. You see him catch up towards the end, but he's early on. His leaving of the gate, his early turn, not the strongest. Let's see how Peach of the Mach 8 runs right here. Inside line, going to bounce past Yoshi here. Wheels leave the ground for a second. Run to the wide track. Here we go. Ooh, zigzags through. Already touching many walls. Around the hairpin. How will she grind to the finish? Very fast this time. Maybe a sub 20. Ooh, not quite. 20.4. But everyone else is slow. Comes Yoshi in the Mach 8 to get third. I mean second. And then Koopa Troopa was third. I will tell you, it seems like a silly thing. But I'm, I'm going to be quite honest. The fact that second place gets three points and third place gets two points does actually confuse my mind subconsciously I, it happens it actually occurs and so there's so many times that i have to be like okay second means three points but it's second place <laughs> just sharing a little insider with you maybe that maybe that irks you a little but you know what that's what it's like me for me here in the booth staring down across the mushroom kingdom as they gather to spectate the best of the racers here. And this was really an open tournament. This is not like a closed thing. Any Mushroom Kingdom ra racer had a chance to race in this one by submittal. And that's why we saw a big range of speeds and skill levels as we were racing today. Here comes Yoshi in the Mach 8, sporting a big skill level in this one, but starts to turn. Mm, gets himself righted through the hairpin, backwards racing towards the end, but has enough room and lead to grab that in 21 seconds. Who's going to come second? This is big here. The sneaker is going to make an appearance. Taylor P's uh, sweep is gone. Five races in, not bad. Peach in the sports coupe is parked right before the banked hairpin in the wide track. And Stryker is not quite out of it yet. Keep an eye on him. I know it's weird to see a sneaker win. But remember, the, the intelligent aspect of racing, the, the heads-up alertness on the track is as much important as, as the speed. Unless your speed is, you know, 18.7663 ability. So Striker has a chance here and might be able to play in the finals, 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 if uh, is able to demonstrate that now. We'll see. Striker on the far side there. Keep an eye on him. How is he going to take it this first turn? I think it's just going to be key here for him to stay uh, alert and smart and watch out for those mistakes on the Mach 8's in front of him. Around that big turn through the second one. And he's still staying strong there. Still falling behind the Mach 8's though. How does he take the third one? Not too slow. And he's going to go inside here. Maybe time for catch up. Yoshi in the Mach 8. Holding strong through that second lane. And will... Well, take to this fat track, nice and straight, no spins yet, two walls, three walls, bounce, four walls, bounce, big, fast turn to the bank hairpin, here comes Peach, but Yoshi has room, and that is 20 flat, basically, strikers back to third, count your points, Yoshi was faster, that's going to give him 12 points, that's going to give him 12 points. Let's look at our numbers here. No, 13 points, actually. I was wrong. 13 points for Zeke. Taylor P. Not too far behind with 10, but we'll need to win this one here and see Yoshi fall below second. I mean, which hasn't happened today. Striker, I think, is out of it. Peach needs to stay strong here. Ooh, wiggling her way into second place. Has in, inner lines to work with. She needs to jump out now. Yoshi is holding a strong lead. Been the fastest today, though, so it looks good for him. But maybe Peach can cause an upset here. Inside line, maybe the Mach 8 will leave the ground here. Yes, like usual. Whips through those turns. All wheels jumping through. The sharp turn spins. Loses control and is slow. Here comes Peach. Far side around the outside, but transfers momentum. Still has a chance. Pushes again. Had two gaps to find and miss both. 20.7 and Yoshi's moving on.
That's what I'm talking about. Capitalize on mistakes when you can. She had two opportunities and just did not convert. Well, that's the price you pay. Yoshi being the fastest and I guess the smartest by the end there. Moving on, do not forget to subscribe. Join the Discord. Link's in the description for everything. And uh, we're coming to the finals very soon. It's Victor Quilles, by the way. And I believe... I think that was Great Wizard who has two. Yeah, so congrats to both of them. And we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.